Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Infiniti QX60, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that really easy install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So before we get started, we wanted to point out that to install your trailer wiring, it's a little easier to do without the hitch installed first. Now, when your hitch comes into place, it blocks our pre-installed plug that's located right behind our passenger side bumper right here. Now, all we have to do is remove the cap on this plug, and then we're just gonna take our four flat connector and we're gonna plug it in. Now we're gonna ground the ring terminal on the white wire on our connector. We're just gonna go right behind this plate right here and use the provided self-tapping screw. So now that we have this plugged in, we went ahead and installed our hitch. So let's show you where you can mount your four flat harness. Now we don't want it just dangling down here because then it can drag on the ground and get damaged. So we're gonna take it through our bumper brackets and bring it right here next to our hitch receiver. Now we're gonna have extra slack back here. We're just gonna bundle it up and zip tie it to our brackets. So a lot of people like to just leave it here in the tow loop, but it can also pop out and get damaged. So we're gonna secure it using a four flat mounting bracket. Now this bracket is not included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul store or at uhaul.com. So we're just gonna line it up on the bottom of the bumper here, and then we're gonna use a 5 drill bit to drill our first hole. Then we'll bring our first screw into place. Then we'll bring our mounting bracket into place and secure it with our first nut. Then we're just gonna line it up and repeat on the second hole. And then we'll tighten it up using a 10 millimeter socket. Then we'll bring our wiring through. And then we'll secure our dust cover. So now we need to power up our trailer wiring. To do that, we have a plug that we need to put in that's located in our cargo area on the driver's side. So we're gonna to need to get to underneath our paneling. So to start, we're gonna lift up our flooring panel right here. And then in this tray, we're gonna remove these three screws using either a Phillips screwdriver or a 10 millimeter socket. Next, we're gonna remove our rear threshold panel. Now our instructions tell us it's easiest to pull out and then up, and then we'll set this aside. Now with that panel removed, we're going to remove these four pins that were underneath, we're just gonna use a trim panel tool to pop it out. And we're just gonna fold it up since the carpet holds it. Now we're gonna remove this flooring panel. It has two cargo hooks on it that we'll need to pull out. To do that, we're gonna pull up on the hook, and then there's this little tab down here. You can get it by hand, or you might need a flathead to just pop it up. Now, once you have that popped up, that exposes a 10 millimeter bolt that we'll remove. Then we'll pull back on the hook and we'll repeat on the other one. Now we're gonna pull up on the panel and we'll set that aside. So now that we have that panel off, we'll be able to see our two plugs that we need to be able to power up our trailer wiring. They're located right here on the inside of this panel. It, you have enough room where you can reach into it. You can see these two plugs right here, the white and the black one. So now we're gonna take our trailer wiring and we're just gonna get it ready to plug in. Now there's a couple connectors. We have our white and black plug that matches those two that will plug in. But first we need to attach our relays on the other side. Now on the big brown connector, we're gonna take our brown relay and we're gonna plug that in. And you'll just want to tug on it to make sure it's tight. And on our other two connectors, we're going to take two of our blue relays and we're going to plug that in. Now that we have all those relays plugged in, we're going to plug in our connector to our vehicle.
Now that we have that plugged in, our wiring is all powered up, so let's go ahead and put together back our cargo area. With your wiring all powered up, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.